You guys coming along for the toilet tour? Uh, watch out for the glory hole. <laughs> like I said, homies. Aloha from Australia again, folks. Finally had a shower after like five days. It's the first shower I've had since we've been here. Apparently it wasn't just the stink that was on me that was attracting the flies. The flies are still here. The flies are here to stay. It's, it's fly life. We're on our way back up to Darwin now. And we're at the Devil's Marbles again. I found something fun for you guys to look at. Check, check, check. Yep, you guessed it right guys. This is a Stimson's Python. Ooh, my camera's gonna fall off the rocks. Check that little dude out. So these guys are in the same family as the children's pythons, the Antaresia uh, family genus. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. I'm not even gonna pretend to be whatsoever. But the one thing I notice is different about these guys versus the children's pythons, they have a much more contrasted pattern than the children's python. They're a little bit lighter in color and granted there's probably some variation within the uh, species but they act much like my uh, children's python at home. Just kind of cruises around much more curious than say a ball python and uh, he's super cool. I, I'm really I'm super stoked. We found all kinds of animals out here on this trip. If you guys missed the earlier videos go back and watch those ones first and catch up see where we're at and uh, this guy's super freaking cool, man. I couldn't have asked for a better trip. Look what else they got out here. Something you might not expect at a place like this. Free Wi-Fi, boom, boom, boom. Maybe I'll make an Instagram post, my first Instagram post of the trip. How you guys doing today? You guys having a great day so far? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how your day's going. Let me know how many flies have flown to your face today. One great thing that I pulled from these flies so far is that it makes you really appreciate the times that they're not all up in your face. It really does. Um, I never realized how much I would appreciate fly not having flies in my face until I had flies in my face every single day, every single hour I was outside. Let's walk around here and see if we can't find you guys something else. Ooh, look at that over there. Check this out. I was not expecting to see something like this here either. Take a guess, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think I just found. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do you guys a favor and, and not show you what it's like in there. So we've actually gotten a buttload of water since we've been here. Um, more water than I think we expected to get or anybody expected us to get, which you would think would be kind of good, but it's also brought some cooler temperatures along. So it's made uh, finding animals a little bit more difficult than it would have been if it would be raining and warmer temperatures. But you know, we didn't go head on with any of those, uh, what do you call them, those three, uh, it's like they have these things called road trains here. Well, there's basically a semi pulling like three large trailers. It's, it's kind of kind of a scary to pass them at high speeds on a two lane highway, especially when the wind is kicking up and it's raining. And the, the, the pull of it like pulls you behind the train. It's freaking a little unnerving, but what the hell is that? Look at that guys. Look at that. You know what that is? I know what that is. Looks like a snake, right? Let's take a good look at him. Let me comment down below. Let me know if you think you can tell exactly what it is we're looking at here. I'll give you a hint. It's not a snake. As much as it looks like a snake, it is not. This is what we call a scaly foot. And a scaly foot is very much a legless lizard but a little different than a legless lizard in the fact that it's actually a legless gecko. I like it because it looks a lot like a snake. Let's get some closer, tighter shots, see if we can find like maybe his ear hole. You know, some of those distinct features that make a lizard a lizard versus a snake, or in this case, a gecko. So I'm not actually seeing an ear hole. This guy sure is staying nice and still for us though. Um, I would have thought I was saw an ear hole there, but what do I know? There's a distinct marking between where his body is here and where his tail begins. 
a distinct change in scalation. That's interesting. And look, you can see here these, these little tiny flaps right on the side of his body. I don't know if he's a he or she, but look, you see those little flaps right there, right in the very center of the frame? Couple little flappy, flappy flappers. I see them on each side of the body there. Interesting, so maybe the tail actually starts right behind those, but I, I don't think so. I would think the tail starts more at that spot that we were looking at, right there. Hmm. Cool. Trip, 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 trip. This guy, he's just creeping, 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 super duper slow. I don't even know if he's in the shot, I can't see anything. I don't even know if I'm in the shot, I can't see anything. Uh, he's in there, I promise. <laughs> I think, no, I, I can't make that, pro there he is, he is in the shot. Look at him just creeping, he's a little creeper. I wonder if it's because it's all this, this cold, rainy, stormy weather, or if he's just, or if he's just a creeper. He's just a creeper, what do you guys think? Maybe I should uh, turn on the autofocus so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. Creeper! Oh! Almost lost the hat. Don't want you guys to see what's under there. It's not even any better than what was in the bathroom earlier. Creep along, little guy. Creep along, creep away. See you later. See you later on another day. Bye-bye. macro lens though. I love this thing for those shots. Do not love the flies in the face. The next spot we're going to I believe is a cave that Dave and I slept in. Slept in? Dave and I were sleeping when the other guys went into the cave uh, on the way down. So we're going to stop back by that cave. Um, <coughs> oh, oh man at least I coughed that one out first. Sometimes you inhale them you don't get to cough them out and it's really not pleasant. Water! Um, yeah, hopefully, uh, I'd like to find an olive python on the cave because those guys found an olive python on the cave on the way down, so hopefully. Ah, what a beautiful place, man. This trip has been so good so far. Minus forest, of course. But, we're dedicating this to forest. Forest would want us to be out here doing it, doing it big. Take a little, let's take a little walk through the rocks. Maybe you guys can get a, a feel for what it's like to rock through these walky rockies. Walking through the rocks, the big, they make me talk like I am a, oh. Dead end, dead end, turn around, oh. To the cave, to the cave, to the cave we go. So, we are rolling down the road on the way to the cave. I'm dead fast asleep, and so is Dave, and now the snake is stuck in my hair. I don't really care, because it's an olive python, just like we were hoping to find, not in the cave, but luckily these guys have great eyes while they're driving. Yoon and Troy were on the point as usual, and we've got ourselves a beautiful olive python here that is uh, about to maybe throw a little bit of musk into my hair, maybe a little touch of urate right there in the old hair, just to make it official. There we go, yep, I'm sure the hair's... Good thing I took a shower this morning. Ah, but, check it out, it's an olive python. I mean, this is a wild olive python. Look at how placid it is. It's like one of my pythons at home. Um, I don't know where his head went, somewhere on my head. Here we go, let's just take the hat off. There we go. Hello, me. Thank you, sir. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. That looks, that looks pretty... Uh... Hey, right, guys, comment down below who's doing the hat better. <laughs> <laughs> Dave looks like I'm he just totally woke up. half asleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, this thing nice is. Uh, look we'll at go. this. This is a wild snake that is just. Yeah, you're right. I mean, just like. Even just like more, a ball python at home. Even more docile than a couple of my pythons I got at home. There's a, the super dwarf I got is not nearly this, uh, this placid. So it's pretty cool to see. I, I, I've had. The same experience with a lot of pythons in the wild actually is, well not a lot, but the, the few pythons that I've come across in the wild have been uh, kind of placid like this. Like you just kind of hold them like you hold them at home, which is pretty cool to see. You put a little bit of trust in the animal and uh, the animal will react in kind. Freaking awesome. Good find guys. All right, we didn't get like but a half mile or I guess what would that be, two kilometers down the road? And uh, are you one kilometer? 
whatever it is. I'm, I'm horrible at transferring metric system to the Queen's English. <laughs> the Queen's English? <laughs> yeah, I said it. <laughs> the old metric system? <laughs> so, another olive python right here on the road. And uh, just to kind of drive the point home of how docile these guys are, I mean, look at this. I, I could probably put my face right to her face and uh, maybe not the best idea, but I'm fairly confident that I could actually do that. And <laughs> even though she's kind of... <laughs> maybe this isn't the best possible moment to put camera face to face, but look, she's good. Yeah, hold, hold she, she was actually mouth gaping uh, a little bit right when we first first grabbed it right off the road here about 30 seconds ago or however long that was time is time is not important anymore what's important is that found an awesome olive python again really quickly i feel like you guys are spoiled down here you guys get to uh you australian folks you just get to drive down the road and find pythons you don't get to do this in california but i guess you guys are jealous you're going to drive down the road and find king snakes and rattlesnakes so it's just different sides of the world. But it's cool to experience the different sides of the world. Look at that. <laughs> like I said, homies. One thing that's nice about walking around Australia at night is you don't have to worry about megafauna like big cats or uh, Things of that nature, bears, like we do in California, walking around at night, you can come and contact one of those guys. So it feels a little safer, even though there's some venomous stuff possibly walking walk around, you don't have to worry about something eating you, so. Yeah, the memes about how everything in Australia wants to kill you. No, nah, not accurate. Australia is not dangerous at all, actually. Yeah, it feels really safe. It's when, it's when, like, wild, speaking about wildlife, it's, you know, it feels safe in the wildlife. Right, absolutely. I don't know where Dave went. It's eerily, eerily quiet in here. It's so cool, this thing about caves. I haven't been in a cave in a while, but, oh wait, I was in a cave a couple days ago. <laughs> but this, this cave is utterly silent. When I stop talking, it's just, you hear nothing. Ooh. Look how pretty that is. Well, aside from that really cool moth, lots of bats, a couple of shed snake skins, we didn't really find much for you guys in the cave. Still a cool cave, still a cool experience, and we got to see some other cool stuff today, so hope you guys are stoked on that. Uh, I'd really like to try and find some carpet pythons while out here because carpet pythons are kind of like the, the main python species that I think of when I think of Australia, so it'd be cool to find some of those before the trip's over. But we still got lots of time left, so... I'm gonna go take a nap. See you guys next video.